you think the battle's won? Think again. The fact is, for each one we reach, there's one we can't. And if we can't reach them, chances are nobody can. Because a mind is a terrible thing to waste. What's up, family? Welcome to Authorized History. Now, a while ago, I came across this article about a young man named Joshua Beckford. Did you guys know at the age of six, this young man became the youngest person to study at Oxford University? His story is pretty amazing. Let's get into it. Now, family. What do you think average six-year-olds are normally doing? Some may be preparing for first grade, playing and socializing with other kids, and learning the basics of human life one step at a time. Joshua Beckford was quite different in this regard. He was born with high-functioning autism, and his father, Knox Daniel, noticed something special about his son early on. When he was two years old, he managed to become fluent in reading using phonics, and by the time he turned three, he had learned how to speak Japanese fluently. In 2011, his father looked into a program that Oxford University was offering on philosophy and history. The program targeted children between the ages of 8 and 13. Wanting to give his son a challenge, he wrote to Oxford University seeking to gain admission for his son, even though his son was only two years shy of the age requirement. The university allowed Joshua Beckford to enroll and he went on to pass his courses successfully. The research project he conducted on the plague of 1665 made him the youngest person to pass philosophy and history at Oxford with distinction. But his dreams and aspirations did not stop there. At the age of 13, he was listed as one of the top 30 most remarkable people in the world with autism who have impacted society. He also served as the face of the National Autistic Society's Black and Minority Campaign. In January 2019, he was appointed as the Low Income Families Education LIFE Support Ambassador for Boys Mentoring Advocacy Network in Nigeria, Uganda, Ghana, South Africa, Kenya, and the United Kingdom. The program was established to create educational opportunities for children for, from low income families so that they have a hope of positively contributing to a thriving society. The young boy also raises funds for three autism charities, two in Africa and one in the UK, and is celebrated for his campaigns to save the environment. He wrote a poem called Saving Mother Earth at the TEDx International Conference in Vienna. This young gifted man is definitely somebody to be celebrated. Please let me know your thoughts on this video down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another video very soon. Alright, peace family.